two, one. We'll see if the horizontal can overcome the type disadvantage. Generally speaking, vertical spinners will outmaneuver horizontals, but it really comes down to driving. Wow, wow. Big there. Big pop in the air, and I can already see part of the uh, the bottom of Luma's weed whacker getting caved in. Luma, Luma here, stuck up against the uh, the glass. Really barely spun up at all there. Yeah. We're going to have to see if the weapon comes back when it comes back oh, down. I saw oh! it twitch. Peter was waiting. Waiting in the wings. Incredible. I don't even think, I, I think that he's bent the body straight into the path of that weapon. Yeah, if there's a chance of that oh, weapon working, it is very small. Oh, no. Oh. oh, the side is getting caved in. When Luma loses, do they, do they erase one of those hash marks? That's what I want to know. I, I think a lot of hash marks were just added, Luke, <laughs> involuntarily. Wow. All right, we're getting a count out here from Luma's, on Luma's Weed Whacker. Peter Garnache stays alive here in the undefeated Knock bracket. Out. The winner is... You might take a little damage along <laughs> yeah. the way, but he'll make sure that you get unstuck. Yeah. Um, and you get one unstick per match. Um, so for each robot, you get one on stick. If you get stuck again, oh, oh well, wow. sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that's good. Make one, one and done. One and done, exactly. I've seen that design. So the, this yellow design, I've seen this on quite a number one uh, robot. Yeah. It seems to work well. It uh, is a tried and true method. This one may be from a kit. I believe, yeah, this is Luma's a Weed Whacker 3. Gotcha. So uh, kits are a really great option for... Um, you know, newer builders or people yeah. who maybe don't have access to CAD their own robots. Oh, tap out. And they have All right, here we go. Stag Beetlebot there in purple. Now watch for the drive quality, Evan. I think that this is a Evan Arias-esque drive. Pretty aggressive and pretty good. Now remember, Stag Beetlebot, this is just their second event ever. So this is actually pretty good pin for your second event ever. Now, in their earlier fight, we saw Luma's Weed Ooh. Whacker, just its top get completely caved in. But look at that, that horizontal's come back to life. I would love to talk to them after this fight. Me too. I think if they, I see what they're trying to do, I can read them, it's so good. I love how they fight. Yeah. But right there, that's why I would just stay on them and just yeah. start pinning them, don't let them spin up. Yeah. You have that weapon against the wall, can't spin. One, one, of, one of the things that I really like about your drive style specifically is that you stay so close to your opponent because um, if they turn and they make a mistake, you are right there. Mm -hmm. You're there to capitalize. Right, Here, there we like, go. I mean, you can see this, like this is, I mean, driving is like a development process. You don't right. come out of the box like a great driver. Absolutely. I think a lot of people, they try and back up and reset and they sometimes miss these really important moments and they're not able to capitalize. Right. Because, I mean, you're also afraid of getting hit by the weapon. Like, why stay close to your opponent, right? You know? Yeah, and honestly, I like I like staying close because if I can't get a full spin-up, neither can they. Right. You know, and sometimes you want not such a fast spin-up instead of, so instead of grinding, you're getting more of a bite and engagement. Right. Although you're not going to send them to the ceiling, but you're going to send them to the wall, which yeah. is just as great. Look at that. That's a good thing right go. there driving that horizontal straight into the rail. Michael Cross is uh, really kind of finding his groove here in cage six. Yeah, you can see that they're, they're definitely, they're playing as they go along and their game, the game plan's changing. There we go. Yeah. And something like Luma's Weed Whacker, a robot like that, you know, got a great swing, great weapon. Yeah. You know, you really gotta be cautious, especially, ooh, you got things and like look that. look at this. Yeah, facing against the horizontal. I mean, the horizontal wants to eat wheels. It's already eaten one of Stag Beetlebot's wheels and a uh, partial wheel uh, as well. So it's really two and a half wheels at this point on Stag Beetlebot, bumping around inside of cage six. But I'm gonna give it to Stag Beetlebot, still landing another good pin, that's pretty good. The driver of um, Luma's Weed Whacker was actually a fan of ours when we first started. Yeah. Way back when. Uh, yeah, no longer a fan, Evan? Oh, Are they uh, anti-shred it now? Uh, yeah, right, he's like, I wanna <laughs> beat you now. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I give him a lot of credit. He's come a long way. Now look at this. Luma's Weed Whacker stuck up against the rail. I think Michael Cross could be winning this fight. I can see the count out happening there cage side. Stag Beetlebot is celebrating. I think that this is a win for Stag Beetlebot. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, wow. Michael. Absolutely amazing. Oh, you know what I didn't get to tell you? Okay. What I would bring for dessert. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What would you bring?